The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring... Were their guests Victor Borga, Alan Jones, Giselle McKenzie, and Grace Hartman. Now, the Abbott and Costello Show. Something, Abbott. Abbott, Abbott. Washington is a wonderful town. I want to tell you, since huh? we've been in Washington just this morning when we got off the airplane, right. all I can hear for the inauguration is a lot of noise. Well, you can. And that's deafening to the ears. Well, Everybody's blowing horns. Well, I and know. <laughs> it, <so>. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it, it hurts my eardrums. Why did you buy the cotton? I bought the cotton because I'm going to do something with it. I'll tell you what to do. You I do know what I'm going to do with it. Here. Just a minute. I'll show you what to do. Oh, Where you got the same idea I, I got. Well, I'm, certainly, yeah. Come here. Put that in your ear. There you are. Now I won't hear nothing. Oh, well, now, yes, you will. There you are. Now it takes all the noise and the sound and the dim and the glare and everything that's away from you. Uh, uh, <laughs> how's that sound now, huh? Huh? I say, does that sound good now? Huh? Well, the noise, it don't bother you, does it? Huh? I say the noise of the streets <laughs> and the streets and everything don't bother you now. Huh? <laughs> I say that you can't hear the dim and the glare now, can you? Oh, no, I can't hear it. Yeah, I, I can't hear it when you had it in there. No, but... No, uh, now I can hear yeah, it, yeah. Well, there. Now everything's all right, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? What? <laughs> I put these in your ears for one purpose, so that you don't hear the noise and the din and the glare of the street and the sounds of the horns and the tin. Yeah, that's what I said. When you had them on me, I couldn't hear a thing. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't hear a thing you had them in my ear. What are you talking about? <laughs> I said, when you had the cotton in my ear, I couldn't hear a thing. What are you saying? I said, when you had the cotton in my ear, I couldn't hear a thing. That's why I put it in your ear so that you can't hear anything. But that's what I was saying, because I want to take you over and talk to you about Ike. Huh? I got... <laughs> <laughs> I talk to you about Ike. I, I, got, I got an invitation. And wait, I a minute, wait a minute. Do you know what you're saying? Please, you... Yes, I was, I was talking to you about Ike. I got an invitation I want to show you. Oh, come on. I want to see uh, that invitation. Uh, uh, what, what, what? Come on, I want to see that invitation. Oh, you want to see the invitation? Certainly, I want oh. to see that. Hold on, let me see it. You know, that's quite a thing, eh? Yeah, well, I've got to read the invitation to you. Let me see it. No, you don't. Oh, now, what are you No, for? you don't. I've got it, so I'm going to read it to well, you. All right, what is it? It says, Dear Lou, you and Bud are invited to the celebration on January 20th at the White House. And this is signed by Ike. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Signed by Ike. Don't lose that invitation. Don't you worry, I ain't going to lose it. We're going to have a great time here in hey, Washington. Hey, what? What's this coming down the street in Washington? I don't know. Get him over there! Oh, 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 o
What kind of dog is that? That's no dog. That's a jackass. That's a jackass? Sergeant, where's your brain? Did you ever ride a jackass? No. Well, you better get on to yourself. <laughs> What's the matter with him? What's the idea of you riding the, the jackass on the street? I'm going to take it back to Missouri. You're going to take him back to... Oh! The Democratic Mule! Oh, can you imagine? What's the matter? Won't he go out of Washington? He don't want to leave Washington. Oh. He's been here for 20 years. He don't want to leave? That's it. Well, wait a minute. Well, well what's, what's the idea? Come here. I'm going to talk to him a minute. Do you mind? Come on over here. Let me ask you something there. Don't you know you've been... You don't? I didn't even ask you, you don't. <laughs> you get worse than that, Wait a minute. Let's, <laughs> let's sit down and talk this thing. Not though. yet. I want to ask him a question. Listen. I didn't even ask him. They told me he was crazy. <laughs> Don't you like the Republicans? <laughs> Do you like Mr. Eisenhower? Wait till I ask you! <laughs> they told me he was crazy! All right, don't get excited. Would you like to sit down and talk it over? You don't oh, mean... that's the wrong cue! <laughs> you Would you like to sit down? That's right. better! <laughs> give me a chair, boy. Give me a chair, man. Give me a, give me a chair. It's there, it's there! <laughs> wait, it's I'm there, not... it's there! Sit down! Wait, wait Sit down! Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a mule is that? <laughs> not as stubborn as you think you are. And for NBC, please get up, because we only got an hour to do this show. <laughs> Come on, will you? Come on, please. Atta boy! <laughs> hey. What are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Don't wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, that won't work. Get out! That won't work, Lou. I got a horse runs like this. Wait a minute. Lou, I've got an idea. What? Uh, you get behind and push, and I'll pull from the front. How's that? Just pull it there. You want me to get behind and push? Yes. And you're going to get in the front. Well, what's wrong with that? I don't see any head back there. <laughs> and I'll get in front and pull, and you get behind and push. That's much better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> get behind there. Here it comes. I'll get down there. Okay, I'll yeah. push. Okay. I'll push it. I'll push it. I'll push it. 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 Push it.
you to clean the streets in Washington. <laughs> you, we haven't done this yet. Wait till he gets down. <laughs> Just had a treatment. <laughs> Look, I'll get down. I'll get over here and push, and you pull in the front. Oh, that's fair enough. Is that all right? Yeah, you, you go ahead. Go ahead, get him. You, you push, and I'll pull. All right. You, you push, right, and I'll, I'll get back right. there. We'll, I'll, I'll, help you I'll, I'll, I'll help you push. 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 i will help you push 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 i will help
You're the jerk? Now, clerk. Oh, please, please. Clerk, yes. We're, uh, we're looking for Alan Jones. He just arrived on the um, North American Airlines this morning. He's, he's going to attend the inauguration ball he, with us. He's going to attend the inauguration. The inauguration ball Have you done with my uh, stuff here? Your what? My Next. stuff here. You mean you wanted a reservation? What kind of a reservation would you like to have? How about uh, one room or maybe your suite? Would you like a suite? No, 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 no. I'd like a nice two-bedroom suit. Nice <laughs> suit. What? Your suite. Yes, you too. Can you stop that nonsense? I mean, what you said to you. Would you like any particular type of room? What yes, but I'd like to have here, Mr. Uh, Clerk, I'd like to have a nice room and a nice kitchen. Kitchen? Because I intend to have a lot of friends over. I'm going to have a lot of the lot of Republican Party that are coming over to my suite to see me. What are you going to do there? Mr. Eisenhower, Mr. Bozzo, a lot of friends from, the, from Patterson. They're coming over. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to cook a beautiful big pot of spaghetti Can I for come? Ike. Can I come? I like Ike! I like Ike! Can I come up? If this don't get us an undersecretary job, nothing will. <laughs> How do you make your spaghetti? Well, first of all, I get a big pot, I put the water in a pot, and I get a lot of spaghetti, I break it up, and I well, put the spaghetti in the water. That's a natural procedure. And then, first of all, I take some tomatoes, and I put the tomatoes in the, in the water with the spaghetti. That's right. Then I take a load of garlic, and I put the garlic in the spaghetti. Yeah, well, not too much. Then after I put the garlic in the spaghetti, I, I, I take, you're not Italian, so you don't understand, I take a little can of conserve, for the Italian people, conserve, and I throw it in, then I take a load of more garlic, you and I put the put garlic, garlic in the spaghetti. I keep put garlic in the spaghetti all day long. I keep put Wait garlic in the spaghetti. Then I open up a can of tomatoes. I throw the tomatoes in. I slice up some onions. I throw it. Then I throw in a lot of more garlic. Plenty of more garlic. All I do is put in garlic. But when do you eat it? Eat it. You can't even get near it. Just a moment. Who are you two hoodlums? Hoodlums? Do you do you like yo-yo spaghetti? What's yo-yo spaghetti? That's a string of spaghetti with a meatball on the end. Oh, will you? Are you here to see anybody? Please. Yeah, you got a reservation. We're Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello! Boys! Boys, fix everything up! Abbott and Costello! Barricade the window! Barricade the window! Fix everything! Man is shut! Oh, my... We're not gonna break anything, friend! Friend? We're neighborly! I saw your last television show. You're not gonna ruin my place. How was our rating? Your, uh, never mind your rating. I'm not interested in that. We're looking for Alan Jones. Is he in or Alan out? Alan Jones is registered, but he happens to be out. All right, we'll wait here in the lobby for him. Hey! Wait a minute, Alan. Here's my friend. Hey! hey. hey. Hello. Gonzalo. How are you? Good, good. Very good. Very hey, Gonzalo. I'm glad you came. You brought the whole mob, huh? You brought the whole mob. What, what is this? Hey, Abbott. This is Gonzalez. Uh, He's from the Almerador Hotel in Palm Springs. I told him to bring the whole Mexican band for the inauguration for President Eisenhower. Well, now, wait a minute. How do you know they like I this? mean, after all, he's the president of the whole country. They I come know. from Palm Springs. That's in the country. What kind of music do they play? Oh, they play Mexican music. Well, I want to hear it before you take it up to the White House. You want to hear this music? It's really Go beautiful. Ahead, I'll sit down here. All right, hey, Gonzalez, just a minute. Now, you're going to play good for me. Mm -hmm. I want Abbott to hear this music before we take you over to the inauguration. Uh -huh. All right? It better be good. All right, play it. Uh, one, two. <laughs> This is a very nice hotel. I don't mind you waiting for Mr. Jones in the lobby, but there'll be no music. No music. <laughs> Why did you stop playing? May I ask? He's a manager of the hotel and he told me he says no music. What do you care about the manager? I told you to play, didn't I? Yeah, you told me to You'll play. You'll do as I tell you. Never mind the manager. I'll take care of him. You will? Well, who does he think he is? What, is he a wise guy or something? No, he's the manager of the hotel. I here. know, but you talk as though he struck you or something. I want to hear this music, see if it's fit to take to the White House. Well, huh? if he comes back, then you tell him Let off. me talk to him. Let me handle this here. Just you can't off, handle huh? this here. Go ahead. Let me hey, what kind of horn is that? That's a French horn. Hey, a French horn, huh? Oh. Hey, Evan, a Mexican playing a French horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear the music. Let's Yeah. Let me hear the music. <laughs> oh, the guy comes back, you duck. Duck? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that music. I think he's going back to the Almerador. I don't like that. Okay. Once more, huh? One, two. Music. Stop that music! 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 Stop that music!
Attention to him. You're an American citizen. Talk to the man Wait when he comes. You're an American citizen, aren't you? Yes. You pay taxes, don't you? Sure. Well, what is this? It's a, it's a lobby of the hotel. You don't rent any rooms here. Go on, let me hear that music. I'll talk to this mug when he comes in here. Well, don't worry talk about to him. Talk to him. I'll tend to it. <laughs> <laughs> Understand that? What manhandling? I'd like to see you do it again. What manhandling? I didn't manhandle him. Man I just did that. That's all I did. Well, well, don't do it again. Don't ask him. Why don't, don't you do be again. like your friend? He's a gentleman. Right. He doesn't make any noise. Now remember, no music or out you go, all of you. Okay. Throw you all out. <laughs> go on and play. <laughs> you really took care of him. Go ahead. <laughs> Would you like a book, maybe? I don't want no book. Play the music. You're working too hard. Sit down. <laughs> hey, one. <laughs> What's more? What's more? Go Jones's room. How do you like that? We didn't wreck a thing. Let's go and relax. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, we now take you to the White House where the entertainment for the inaugural ball has already begun. I take great pleasure in presenting Victor Borga. Good evening. It is a great pleasure for me, of course, to be at this ball tonight. And I would like to begin with a little number for this special occasion. I would like to play the dance of the hour. That will be, of course, tonight, the dance of the Eisen hour. <laughs> However, before I indulge in playing that number, I should like to play the second Hungarian Rhapsody by Liszt. I don't like the first one. <laughs> Pardon me for sitting down, because it's very uncomfortable to stand up and play. <laughs> Wait a 
arranged these pianos here at the White House, they all play the same tune. <laughs> now play a Nocturne by Chopin. Harry S. Chopin. <laughs> Now I shall play something by Strauss. Margaret Humdinger Strauss. <laughs> Gentlemen, time is running short, and we shall now play a short number. We shall play uh, what I call the Reader's Digest version of the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto by Freddie Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Tchaikovsky, as you know, was born in Watkins in the year 1847. But he never played out in the streets of Watkins like the other little children of Watkins, because when Tchaikovsky was one month old, his parents moved to St. Petersburg. <laughs> Tchaikovsky's second piano concerto. No, I think it is the first one. <laughs> the only one they wrote. <laughs> Number one. Got the music right here. Such a nice one. See, when you hear this, that is the introduction. Then when you hear this, that's the main theme. Then when you hear this, then there is definitely something wrong because that's Greek. <laughs> but you would hear that because we're not going to play it. I have the choice of two numbers, ladies and gentlemen. One is Claire de Lune, and the other one isn't. <laughs> okay, so it's now two bars till 19. <coughs> I mean, two minutes to bar 19. Oh, I don't know if you know that there are three pedals on these grand pianos. Don't let that confuse you. The pedal in the middle is there to separate the two other pedals. <laughs> Which should be wonderful news for people to three feet. <laughs> Mr. Goodman, Al. <laughs> What's the matter? What key are you playing in? <laughs> what key? <laughs> what, what, what key, please? See, I'm in Washington, but he's out in Hollywood. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Come on, what key? Maybe we should get some fresh air in here anyway. <laughs> you know, millions of people don't know what this little gadget is for. Unfortunately, I happen to be one of them, so they might as well. <laughs> <laughs> beginning of this can be taken from bar 19. They are giving me the business. The Christmas business.
This is that great school of dancing of Grace Harton. Now, you've got to take lessons if you want to go to the inaugural ball. Well, I don't know why you brought me here for I mean, oh. that's like it is. Miss oh, Hartman. Oh, how are you? How are you? <laughs> this is my partner. Now, will you stop it? This is my partner, Lou Costello. Yes. Where are you going oh, to? yes, I, I know you both very well. You know, I've seen you a lot on television. You know, I think you look an awful lot alike, especially Mr. Costello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the inaugural ball. Will you, you teach are? Lou a few steps? Well, I'd love to. I'll be right back. You're going to learn how to dance, Doc? I'm going to, uh, yes, ma'am. You well, see, I want to dance because I'm going to the inaugural ball with yes. Mr. Rabbit, and I want to learn how, oh, oh, I want to learn some steps. Isn't that splendid? Well, now, what is your prices, Miss Well, Hartman? I charge $5 a lesson, or I have a special rate of uh, three lessons for $25. Three lessons for $25? Uh-huh. <laughs> three lessons for $25. Uh-huh. 25, three, time, three, time, track, flight. <laughs> I'll take the three. I'm no dope. <laughs> Well, shall we start our first lesson? Would you like to start? Well, okay, are we ready now? Ready. Music, please. <laughs> Lesson's over. <laughs> Lesson's over? I didn't even do nothing. All I heard was the music. Well, you heard the music. Yeah. Well, that's $5 more for hearing the music. <laughs> this is a clip joint. Hey, I'm back! So, are you ready for your second lesson now? Yes, so I can feel it out, well, kid. All right. Let's get set now. Ready? Okay, music. <laughs> there, the, that lesson's over. <laughs> what kind of dance was that? That was a two-step. A two-step. Uh-huh. All I did was get one foot off the floor. Oh, well, that'll be five dollars more for not getting your other foot off the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, here we go. Okay, ready for your third I still want to learn to dance. Okay, music. <laughs> <laughs> lesson's over. <laughs> All I did, Miss Hartman, was hold you. Oh, you held me. I held you. Well, that would be five dollars more. <laughs> Let's go. All right, now this last one is very trade if you seal. I beg your pardon? Trade if you seal. What's that mean? That's soup of the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, now this music is especially for you. Thank you. Yes, shall we go? Music. <laughs> What kind of music was that? Well, that was because you danced like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hartman, yes. I don't want to cut this whole thing short. Yeah? But would you like to go to the inauguration with me and be my partner? Oh, with I'd love to, but don't you think we should know more about modern dancing? Oh. Like, uh, say, the French ballet? Oh, I love the French ballet because when I was in Patterson High School in New Jersey, I used to be in a French ballet. You were? Oh, sure. French my dancing instructress, Josephine Bazo, she told me everything about oh, how to do really? it. You would like to see me wiggle my tummy? I'd love to see you wiggle You'd like tummy. to see me wiggle my tummy? Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Let's dance, shall we? Would you like to? Yes.
Hartman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something I want to ask you. Yes. Is it not true that you worked in Kokomo, Indiana? Yeah, I did, uh-huh. And you also worked over here on Ventura Boulevard at the backstage yeah. bar? Yeah, I did. You uh -huh. did. Uh-huh. Is it not true that they have tablecloths like what you're wearing? <laughs> Those red and white checkered yeah. tablecloths? Yeah. Is it not true that you stole one and you took it home? Yeah. I so did. you can make a pair of Panties for your little son? Yeah. Mother! Now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the high spots of the inaugural entertainment, Mr. Alan Jones. Senorita, lest you care for the 
You know what they're going to do now, all on account of you? What? They're going to examine all the invitations. Oh, to let please me, clean up. Let me see that invitation of yours again. I got it. Let me make sure. There it is. Let me see it. Here. Dear Lou, you and Bud are invited to the celebration on January 20th at the White House, Hamburger Palace. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's signed by Ike, isn't yeah, it? Yes, it's signed by Ike. Sure. Ike Eisenberger. second. We've only got a couple of seconds with you. Now, Lou, Lou has a very important message from Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, and to our friends all over the United States, 
I want to say something that's really important to Bud and I, because we were in Chicago last week. We happened to meet a great, great, great very, very great doctor, and Dr. Levinson of the Recorded Children. And I want to tell you, Bud and I saw something that really opened up our eyes. We have a foundation here in Los Angeles, but we want to go further. We want to help these children that Dr. Levinson has done such a great job for. These mentally retarded children all over the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any pennies, any nickels, any dimes, quarters, or dollars, any please amount. tell them where to send it. Send them to MR, Post Office Box, 5670, Chicago 77, Illinois. Please, for us. And don't forget. And that. next week, our dear pal, Eddie Cantor. And yours, Eddie Cantor. The Colgate Comedy Hour. Featured in tonight's cast were Sid Field, Terry Lang, the Four Pipers, R.J. Otis and Habner, Bobby Barber, and the Hollywood Stunt Group. Abbott and Costello can currently be seen in the Warner Brothers motion picture Abbott and Costello Meet Captain Kidd, co-starring Charles Lawton.